Are you ready to see your new system? Yeah. Here it is, man. I hope you like it. Oh my. Welcome back to Pimp My Rig, everybody. This is episode six. Today we're taking a look at a build from a man, no, a boy named Sebastian. Sebastian is a student in high school. He didn't tell me that he went to high school, but I'm assuming that he is in high school because he looks like he is. Sorry if that's wrong, Sebastian. But he needs a lot of help here. This this is a, a system in dire need of some assistance because it it's just, it, look at it. Let's first talk about some of the specs here because at its core, this is a fairly well put together system spec wise. We've got a 9600K, so a Core i5 from Intel. That's a six core CPU. However, there's, there's some complications here. Uh, we actually have a B360 motherboard from MSI, I believe. So we can't actually overclock our 9600K, which is a damn shame. Plus, we have this Hyper 212 cooler from Cooler Master, which is not a bad cooler for all intents and purposes. It is a really good budget option, but even if we did have, say, a Z390 board that allowed us to overclock, we wouldn't get very far with a entry-level cooler such as this one. We have a 16 gig kit of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 at I believe 3200 speed. Let me try to look in there. Move out, move, move on. Do, 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 do. Ah, man tried to kill me. You guys see that? 3000 megahertz. It's Intel, we're fine. Uh, we also have a, a very nice Gigabyte a dual fan GTX 1070 Ti, which is also a very capable piece of hardware and it pairs nicely with the 9600K, even if you're not overclocking it. The fans are just spinning right now at idle and they're actually kind of loud. I'd hate to hear what it sounds like under load. Plus the whole system in general, if I put my microphone, my lavalier, can you hear it? Hmm? Hmm? I wanna get clipped by a fan. Is, is freaking me out. It's a little bit noisy in there and we're not even doing anything. So uh, that needs to change at the very least. The power supply isn't bad, you know, it's a Corsair CX 750 watts, so enough wattage to drive the system, but it's a little bit on the budget side and it being completely non-modular is also an indication that uh, maybe it's time to step that up as well. The storage options are bad. He has a 480 gig SSD. I forget the model number. It might be a Patriot drive and a WD blue mechanical hard drive. No problems there. But I saved the best for last, ladies and gents. The case, which is from Sego Tip. Yeah, it's some Chinese brand I've never heard of before, and it looks like a cheap Chinese case. The side panel and front panel are acrylic, so they're all scratched up and scuffed and stuff. We also got some ventilation on the sides here. Those holes aren't super big or anything, and these fans are, again, kind of noisy. They are moving some air, though, so I guess that's good. I wonder how much they're actually pulling in through these slim ventilation slots on the sides. You get a somewhat decent power supply shroud with a couple fan mounting points at the top, but you don't have any rubber grommets for routing cables, so it doesn't look as nice as it could. Could. They're just, you know, basic cutouts. And we've also got this foot. This foot that looks like it was super glued onto the case. What happened there, Sebastian? What, what is this, an arts and crafts project? Some other things to point out is that you'd have to be absolutely blind to not notice the cable management is atrocious. And the rear fan is backwards. It's mounted as an intake. What's happening here? So clearly you can see I've got my hands full for today, but I'm gonna do my best to revamp the system as best as possible and hopefully give Sebastian the glorious PC gaming experience he deserves. Although, you know, I, I hardly know the kid. He could be a serial killer. With that gruesome question in mind, it's also worth pointing out that Cooler Master has agreed to sponsor today's video, and they'll be helping me help Sebastian acquire some seriously awesome hardware, pun intended. And they've also informed me that they have actual PC components being sold now at select Best Buys across the United States. So I thought it'd be kind of cool for this first round of upgrades if we actually went to our local Best Buy to see what they've got in store, quite literally, and uh, bring back whatever we find attractive. All right, so we're here at a Best Buy somewhere in downtown Los Angeles, and uh, I'm, I'm ready to do some shopping. I've got my cart ready. Quite a nice selection here from Cooler Master. You can get their peripherals in like over 700 different locations across the US, and 52 stores are currently selling their components if you're trying to build your own PC. So we're gonna see what works here for Sebastian's build in particular, starting with power supply. He needs a new power supply. So we have these two options from Cooler Master from their MWE Gold Series, 650 watt and 750. Now. Sebastian already has a CX750 watt unit from Corsair. For starters, it's 80 plus bronze, which isn't terrible, but if we're planning to put in a higher end GPU, <gasps> having that extra efficiency rating isn't a bad thing necessarily. And also it's not modular at all. So I think we're actually gonna swap in one of these. This is 80 plus gold certified, so we get a lot higher efficiency and being fully modular just allows for a lot more room in, in the system when all is said and done. 99.99, do, do you think Sebastian's worth $100 power supply? 
I think he is. We also have a couple different coolers from Cooler Master, including their Master Liquid ML120L RGB and a Hyper 212 RGB Black Edition. They also have the non-RGB version at select Best Buys, although they're completely sold out at this one because they're just, they're just flying off the shelves. Now, being a 9600K system, we want a little bit more oomph for our cooling potential, especially if we plan to overclock with a, a Z390 motherboard that we'll be dropping in later. So let me see if we can find a higher end cooler on the Best Buy website. A-I-O cooler. And the first thing that pops up is a fridge. So it looks like Cooler Master does have their Master Liquid ML240R RGB and the 360 model. Uh, I think we're gonna have to go with one of those. I'm not gonna buy it just yet, but this is looking good so far. Now, I don't know exactly what case we're gonna go with yet, so we're gonna wanna cram a couple RGB fans in there just to add some additional bling, and most importantly, uh, some healthy airflow to keep the rest of the components cool. So these are the Master Fan MF120R ARGB. Let's take a little ganda over here, because I thought I saw some perifs. Now, obviously, these are gonna be outside of the computer, but I think Sebastian could use an upgrade. I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what keyboard he has now, but can't be better than this. This is the SK650, genuine Cherry MX red switches, low profile switches as well, very tactile. The MM830, optical sensor, 24,000 DPI, hidden D-pad, OLED display. I've actually got to put my hands on one of these before and uh, it's, it's, it's extremely comfortable. I love the shape. I don't see any Cooler Master headsets on the shelves. They do have an MH752, 7.1 surround sound. That looks pretty good. So maybe we'll add that to cart and check out a bit later. So for the system itself, apart from the very nice peripherals we just got, we have a new power supply, some new fans, and we're gonna be buying a liquid AIO as well on their .com page. So we're pretty much good to go. Let's head back home and get this all put together. All right, well that was kind of fun. Got to do a little IRL window shopping, and I got to see the one thing that few gamers ever make contact with, the sun. But yeah, most of the things you see here are items that we picked up at Best Buy or their site. You can see I actually picked up a Master Liquid ML240R RGB from Cooler Master, which will do a fine job of cooling our 9600K. Uh, it's a bit overkill, unless you can actually overclock it, which with this new motherboard, we certainly can. We have a Z390 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi board from Gigabyte. This not only has more connectivity and features than Sebastian's existing B360 board, but it also allows us to have our way with that 9600K and its multiplier. So uh, very excited to be using that. It certainly justifies the 240 millimeter AIO. We also have the SL600M from Cooler Master. They hooked Sebastian up with this chassis. An absolutely just stunning case, visually speaking. I know, of, of course, it's subjective, but I think it's one of their nicest looking cases ever. Uh, it also uses a chimney style effect with its airflow design, so you actually have all your intake coming from the bottom of the case and being ejected out the top. It should be a really fun and interesting case to build in. I'm actually pretty excited because I've never worked with the SL600M until now. On that note, we should probably start gutting Sebastian's PC before merging all of his usable parts with this shiny new hot. <laughs> Getting down to the wire here, we've already installed all the parts that we showed off earlier. You can see I uh, mounted the RGB lighting controller for our AIO. Right here, I had to remove one of the SSD trays to make it fit. Uh, fortunately, it's got a magnetic back. It's not the strongest magnet though, so I might get some adhesive Velcro in there, but uh, it's looking okay for now. Everything else is in good order. We only have a couple more parts to go before we're completely done. So we're gonna bling things up a little bit. This is Pimp My Rig after all with a cable mod RGB wide beam LED strip kit. You can get one of these for about 30, 35 bucks or so. They're not addressable RGB, but the lighting is uh, extremely bright and the colors are pretty accurate. We also have sleeved cables from Antec. This is the first time I've caught wind that Antec makes sleeved cables and they actually look like they're pretty good quality, at least from what I can tell looking through the window there. So uh, excited to try these out. And then finally, 
we have the GPU situation. Now, of course, Sebastian has a very respectable GTX 1070 Ti, but again, it's a pretty basic model. There's no backplate and it's uh, it's a bit noisy. Plus, uh, he's currently gaming on 1080 panels, so I kind of wanted to bump him up to 1440p. So with all those things in mind, I got him one of these. Uh, yeah, I, I did I did a thing. Uh, this is the Aorus Extreme RTX 2080 Water Force from Gigabyte. Water Force meaning that we actually have a 240 millimeter radiator AIO fixed to the GPU. But to accommodate this extremely high-end GPU, we're actually gonna have to remove the two 200 millimeter fans that are at the bottom of the case. These come pre-installed. So once those fans are out, we're gonna mount our 240 millimeter rad right there at the bottom as intake. So we're gonna still keep the uh, the chimney effect by creating a vertical airflow path that'll exhaust out the top. So uh, that's what we're doing. And by the time I install all this, we'll be done. And I'll show you the finished product in just a bit. All right, build complete and looking pretty sweet. Uh, quite a feat actually to build something so neat. Yeah, it's looking really good. I, I love how it turned out both cosmetically and functionally speaking, the SL600M was a very nice case to build it in. Uh, it's definitely unique. You saw from the montage that our storage actually went at the front of the case, right? With our SSD and, and hard drive just below it. And then just behind that was our power supply with all of our cable managing, a good majority of it going on right behind this plate that would otherwise be covering a bunch of drive trays or drive cages in a more conventional chassis. And also just due to the layout of the case, we have our radiator for uh, the GPU mounted to the bottom as opposed to uh, what would ordinarily be the front intake. So it definitely gives the system a unique appearance that I think looks pretty cool and uh, Cooler Master took a lot of risks with this case but I think most of them paid off because my build experience with it was very positive overall. Uh, additionally I should mention that our GPU is mounted vertically. The SL600M has uh, two vertical slots but it did not come included with a PCI riser cable so I actually had to pull one from my uh, cable mod PCIe uh, vertical GPU bracket kind of just snagged it from there and it worked like a charm. The main reason I mounted it this way was not only to show off the LEDs on the uh, shroud there but also to create a more direct airflow path and to not impede the airflow that's coming from these front fans because this is really the only intake that we have in the system and it's firing straight up towards the CPU AIO radiator. So if the GPU was mounted horizontally, it would be blocking a lot of the air that those fans are pushing up. So uh, it was kind of a form and function decision on my part. So there it is, guys, in all of its glory. I think Sebastian will have a good time gaming on this thing. Which reminds me, Sebastian actually mentioned that he's currently gaming on a few 1080p TN panels or twisted pneumatic panels, which is fine and all, totally fine. It actually is probably a very nice setup for his old PC, but with an RTX 2080, I think we're, we're craving a little bit more pixel pushing. So I kind of wanted to up him to 1440p perhaps. And while I also admire how fast TN panels are, I'm also well aware of their various shortcomings when it comes to things like color reproduction and viewing angle and so forth. So I thought since we're already upgrading his keyboard and mouse, why not throw in a panel too? Well, 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 what do we have here? This is a beauty of a monitor, the AOC Aegon. This thing's pretty sweet, 27 inches, 2560 by 1440. I thought it was IPS, but upon further inspection, it's actually a VA panel, which is just as good in my book. We also have display HDR 400, ignore that. FreeSync 2 HDR. Yes, I'm aware that we have a GeForce GPU from NVIDIA, but FreeSync 2 will work perfectly fine. This is most likely gonna be a G-Sync compatible display. We also have 140 
144 hertz. Not too shabby. All right, so special thanks to AOC for sending this over. Go ahead and check them out. I'll put some links in the description if you want to learn more about this panel or the rest of their products. On that note, I think it's time for the big reveal. I'm super excited to see Sebastian's reaction to this whole setup. Uh, and bear in mind, guys, you know, a lot of people who are on the show, they might be a little introverted or just a bit camera shy. Just because they don't give an explosive reaction when they see their, their new system doesn't mean they're not appreciative or overwhelmed or feeling a lot of things internally. I see a lot of comments. That's why I'm saying this. Guys, you don't know what it's like to be surprised like that in front of the world's greatest YouTuber. It's just the things that got it through your mind. It's just, uh, it's a bit overwhelming for most people. Yeah. The last thing I'll mention here is that if you're feeling a little jelly of Sebastian right now, you should consider entering Cooler Master's Found at Best Buy giveaway. The grand prize winner gets a huge pile of hardware, including an H500, ML120L RGB cooler, CK530, and more. Second and third place winners get hooked up with some really nice gear too. So if you're feeling lucky, head to the link in the description below to enter for a chance to win. On that note, uh, I think it's time that we show Sebastian his new gaming setup. Let's do it. All right, man, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Any any thoughts going through your mind? Um, I just, no, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Do you have, all right, first of all, what have you been doing this whole week without a system? I've just, my phone basically is it. Oh, Anything mobile I gaming. can do on my You've phone. You've had to resort to mobile gaming. I'm yeah. sorry to have to, have to put you through that, but uh, I promise the wait was worth it. Do you have any expectations for what might be under the screen sheet? I can see that it's bigger, so. That's basically it. So the know. only thing you know really is that there's a case upgrade at the very yeah. least. Okay. Yeah. Which you really, really needed, by yeah. the way. Are you ready to see your new system? Yeah. Here it is, man. I hope you like it. Oh my. As you can see, there's a couple different things. <laughs> oh my more than god. The case. That's like Oh my god. Is that, are those good? Are those good gasps or bad gasps? It's, it's so good, what? <laughs> yeah, so we, we thought we thought you deserved a, a GPU upgrade as well. So we upgraded you to a, a Gigabyte Aorus Extreme RTX 2080. Oh my God. Which has an AIO fix to it, so it's actually water cooled. You can see we also switched you from air cooling to liquid cooling on the CPU oh as well. My God. So you still have the 9600K. Uh, as we both know, you were on B360, so you couldn't even overclock. Right. Um, right now we have your chip to 4.8 gigahertz on all cores. That's with the help of the uh, the Aorus motherboard as well. So you're on so you're on Z390 now. This thing should hopefully make your Minesweeper experience a lot more enjoyable. <laughs> Any thoughts? Let me know what you think. I I just don't know what to say. It looks amazing. It's just oh my god. That's so much better than my old computer. It just looks amazing, that's it. Yeah, it's always kind of difficult with these things when you know clients are kind enough to let me work on their systems. Everyone has such a different personal taste, right? With right. aesthetics and stuff. So it's like, I'm kind of shooting in the dark apart from a couple questions that I asked you at the beginning. So I never quite know how people are gonna react or how much they're actually gonna like the systems that I, I put together, but it seems like you like it. So yeah. I'm, glad it, I'm glad it worked out. It, it's just stunning, it's just amazing. Thank you so well, much. Uh, the, the surprise doesn't end there. Everything you see on this table is now yours. Oh my God. So we have uh, the AOC monitor, 2560 by 1440. Oh. IPS, 144 hertz, curved display. Um, peripherals by Cooler Master. We even threw in an RGB mouse pad for you. That's so. amazing. Yeah, man, congrats you. on your new setup. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, huge shout out to everyone who put this together for you, especially Cooler Master. Couldn't be possible without you guys. AOC and Gigabyte came to the rescue as well with, with a lot of the things you see here. So a uh, huge, huge thanks to those guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. This is, this is hug worthy. This is hug worthy stuff. I'm glad you like the system so much, dude. But that's going to do it for now, guys. Make sure you toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Get subscribed for more tech stuff coming at you really soon. And I will see you in the next video.